Welcome back to the first season of Corey Reed Reads. Now, I've been read The Circle of Days already, and now it's time to read this book of mine that I've been wrote it, illustrated, and put it in poetry. And it's called The Teeny Tiny Animals and Their Homes. This is a favorite fairy tale book. I've been read it for a very long, written it for a very long time during church hours. So, Let's get things started with the book. Sorry. The Teeny Tiny Animals and Their Homes. Written, illustrated, and poem by yours truly, Cordy Henry. The Teeny Tiny Ants, whose worth never ends, lives in a hill with all of his friends. The teeny tiny ant honeybee flies with a buzz, buzz, buzz. He comes home to a hive because he's does, does, does. The teeny tiny spider homes are pretty place. It spins a web, looks like a lace. With the nest of the tree, tweet, tweet is heard because that's the home of the teeny tiny bird. A home underground it seem a bit funny, but a burrow makes a nice home for a teeny tiny bunny. Another teeny tiny animal who lives in a hole, it's a cute little animal called a mole. The teeny tiny monkey loves to jump and play, but the tree home isn't the end of the day. And the top of the world where cold winds blow the teeny tiny polar bear's home is under the snow. But the biggest home everywhere is the one big home that all of us share. The birds, the bugs, and the animals too share a home called Earth with me and you. The end. That was fun. And the only reason why I chose this blank book is because I create something. Created for these kids who wanted to get involved in reading. And this is and that's what I do. I story tell tell these story these kids storytelling these kids who wanted to wrote and illustrated their own. And you can too. So when we come back, I like to read the third and final book of the day is Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Plus, a recap for tonight for the Today Show. When the first season of Corey Reed Reads continues right after this brief break.